but we're often rushed at dinner time trying to make just about anything. Well, according to a recent survey of American families, most parents are concerned about saving money, also saving time, and providing nutritious, nutritious foods for their families that fit into their budget. So Melissa Dobbins is a retired, re, regist, not retired, <laughs> hard, far from retired, registered dietitian, also a spokesperson for the Illinois Dietetic Association. She's here today to share some tips on speedy weekday meals that are nutrient rich, budget friendly, and you're way too young for retirement. So. <laughs> Darn. Right, no, yeah, exactly. You have a lifetime of work ahead of you, as my uh, husband would always tell me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks right. for that reminder. Right. But how are things going? What ty right. sort of tips do you have here? I've got three tips, like you said, that are nutrient-rich and budget-friendly and quick. So the first tip is to cook once but eat twice. Whenever you're cooking, try to make extras so you have those leftovers later on in the week. Um, extra grilled chicken can be on salads, soups, sandwiches, very quick to assemble and heat and eat. And then freeze your extra leftovers in single serving portions for easy reheat and eat. Right, so that you can just throw it in the microwave and you're good to go. That's right. All Cook right. Once eat twice. Second tip is to cut the fat and calories and boost the nutrients. So you want lean meats, colorful vegetables, whole grain side dishes, okay. and low fat and fat free dairy to get fewer calories and more nutrients. So I often, almost always, use lean ground turkey in place of ground beef in any recipe. Hamburgers? Yes. Meatballs? Yes, and there's even lean ground um, Italian flavored uh, gr uh, turkey, so you can use that in place of sausage. So I really recommend that. It can save you 20 grams of fat per serving. Per serving? Yeah, per serving. Okay. Yeah. And then look for the colorful vegetables because that's where the nutrients are. So what could be easier than serving a bowl of cut up veggies at the dinner table? I did this a lot this summer, like every man for himself, it's all in the bowl. And again, I always often use um, spinach instead of other lettuce because of all the nutrients it provides. Iron, folate, potassium, um, vitamin A, of course. And a sweet baked potato only takes six minutes in the microwave, but it's high in fiber and vitamin A and vitamin C. All right. Well, what do you think about romaine lettuce and those sorts of greeny, leafy mm -hmm. lettuces versus spinach? Those are good, but spinach has packs the most punch when it comes to the nutrition. Spinach is the best, top it of is. the line for it the is. salad. And you know, it's great for salads, but it's also really quick to heat it in the microwave for a steamed side dish. Okay. And it, it is a mild flavor. You know, we think, ah, spinach, but it, it has a mild flavor. So I do encourage you giving it another try. Okay. Keep an open yeah. mind to spinach. All right. And we really need good. to add more beans to our diet. Did you know we should be eating three cups of beans a week? Three cups Three a week. Three cups a week. That's, that's a lot. But it's so easy and yummy to add these two soups, salads, side dishes. You're going to boost your fiber and your protein. All right. That sounds good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And last but not least? Right. Buy better and save more. Save more time by organizing your grocery list by food group. Have it on the refrigerator. When you add the foods to the grocery list, they're already in that category. Then when you get to the grocery store, you're already organized and it's much more efficient. I do this. And the other thing is save money. The Illinois Dietetic Association is partnering with Feeding Illinois on a hunger challenge that starts tomorrow and lasts for one week. They're challenging everyone to eat for $4 and 50 cents per person per day. Per day. Per day. All the meals. That's right, per person. Okay. So if you have a family, you know, you, you multiply it. But a lot of people spend that on one latte every day. Okay, so how does the challenge work? Well, there's more information that links on the website. And it's just, you're just, they're just encouraging people. It's, a, it's an exercise in empathy and um, budget <laughs> planning. Um, and so then the, the question is, well, how can you eat healthy on a budget? Protein is one of the most expensive sources. So beans, eggs, and dairy products are excellent sources of protein that are cost effective. All right, so go buy a lot of beans this week for the challenge, and you'll be good to go. All right, That's thank right. you very much. Always fun to talk to you. And thank you. You're going to keep on working and working and working, yes, so I am. you'll be back. I'll be back. All right, no retirement here. Well, for links and recipes from Melissa and for more information about the Hunger Challenge that we just touched upon, all you have to do is go to our website, of course. That is at abc7chicago.com. And we'll be right back. More work ahead for us. Thank you. Thanks.